come on. Not another running vlog. Now in any running vlog, it's very important to show your pre-workout coffee. It's some sort of rule. I think it might be in the YouTube terms of service. Uh, I'm not sure though. <sighs> now one downside to making a running vlog is that everything takes longer than it should. Like leaving the house. I've got to film myself leaving the house and then come back in and get the GoPro and then leave again. So another staple of the running vlog is talking while driving. Uh, I don't know why this is. Maybe it's just a way to multitask, especially when it takes so long to get out of the house when you've got to stage those shots. But anyway, thank you for joining uh, in today's vlog and thank you to everybody for subscribing and liking and sharing uh, the videos over the past year. Not so much these videos. Uh, you know, if I look at the analytics of the channel, these videos don't perform nearly as well as Serious Runner, but you know, these, these are still fun to make. Uh, but anyway, I recently got the channel monetized, which, uh, you know, I think in the YouTuber world, being monetized is sort of the equivalent of uh, BQing. It's sort of, you know, the metric by which you are a real YouTuber. Uh, even though currently I am making a whopping $2 a day on average, being monetized is sort of a double-edged sword. For 10 years, I was doing videos uh, for an investment bank and it basically took all the fun out of it. It's sort of that warning that you shouldn't take your hobbies and turn them into careers because then you just wind up hating them. So, you know, I hope that even though the channel is now monetized, uh, that it doesn't feel like a business and that uh, it, it remains fun. So in terms of actual running stuff, uh, right now I'm going to meet some friends at the track. I absolutely hate track work. Uh, Maybe that's because I never ran track and field in high school or college. I didn't start running until I was like 27. So because of that, I feel like my confidence and my ability on the track really suffers. Uh, but I'm going to, you know, meet up with some people and uh, it's gonna be awful. It's gonna be really, really awful. So I'm kind of having a moral dilemma here. Uh, I've been in the market for a new shoe for tempo and speed work uh, and my friend Perry recommended the Saucony Endorphin Speed which even though it's not a carbon plate it's a nylon plate so you know I have to really look inward and think am I compromising my morals by running in a shoe with a plate when it's not a race? No serious runner would use um, headphones during a track workout. Don't worry, this isn't a serious runner video. Oh, okay. All right, first 2,000 meters done. I think we're going to do some 800s and then another 2,000. I feel like I need an extra lung or two. I can't breathe. I'm crying. I'm crying inside. of my broken life. <laughs> Alright, let's go. 
And now that part of the running vlog where we sit down and recap what just happened. The track workout wasn't as bad as I expected. My pacing was pretty good. The speed was slower than I would have liked, especially considering that Boston is only three weeks away. But for me, Boston is not really the goal race. I've got, I've got some other goals at Boston, uh, doing CIM later on in December uh, to try to PR. But overall, not bad. The shoes worked really good. Uh, and once again, they are the Saucony Endorphin Speed. And I'm gonna say that again, because there is some suspicion that YouTube for SEO purposes will scan the automated closed captions in a video. So for SEO purposes, Saucony Endorphin Speed. Well, that's enough running stuff. Thank you for watching. I'm gonna go nerd out and watch Pulp Fiction. Haven't seen it in 15 years. I remember it being a pretty terrible movie, but a friend challenged me to watch it again uh, to, to see if I still don't like it. So I'm gonna uh, try to break it down to the story elements and then do a full film analysis on it uh, to see whether or not I still think it's a bad movie. Uh, and that's probably an unpopular opinion. All right, thank you for watching. See you next time.